Assalamu alaikum my dear students we are going to start our first unit of computer and its name is computers at a glance do you know the meaning of glance its meaning is brief we are going to briefly discuss computer in our first unit okay let's start reading of our unit A computer is an electronic device. Electronic de electronic means the device that works with the help of electricity, which can do fast and accurate calculations. Accurate means correct without mistakes. Calculations and many other tasks. Any computer essentially performs three basic functions. These are input processing and output from input processing is done and in the form of result we get an output if I give you a question like 2 plus 2 is equal to 4 plus 4 is equal to 3 multiplied by 3 is equal to all of you think about the answer yes if you think that 2 plus 2 is equal to 4 it's a brainstorming question I gave you the question that I gave you is the form of input and in your brain that you think what will what will be the answer of 2 plus 2 this will be the processing and the result, the answer that you gave that 2 plus 2 is equal to 4. It's the output. It's the result. In your brain, you done the processing. Your brain is a processing device, right? Like this, CPU is the processing device of computer. Okay. These functions are performed by different parts and helping devices of computer. The devices performing these functions are accordingly called input devices, processing device and output devices. Here is a picture of a computer. You see it's a monitor, it's a keyboard, it's a mouse and it's a CPU. Keyboard and mouse are the input devices if I show you on my laptop it's a keyboard and it's a touchpad these two are the input devices and CPU is the processing device this monitor is the output device here on laptop this screen is the output device on our next page, page number 6, input devices. The input function of a computer includes accepting the data and instructions from the user. Data is the raw information about facts and figures. It can consist of numbers and text. Data and instructions are entered into the computer through input devices through this touchpad and through this keyboard we give input to the computer or laptop keyboard and mouse are the most common input devices a keyboard is used to provide input by typing letters and numbers if i show you on my laptop these are the letters that you see a s d f g h these are the letters and these are the numbers 1 2 3 4 and it's up to 9 and then 0 these are the numbers on the keyboard a mouse is used to provide input by selecting a particular item on the screen the selection is done by pointing to the desired item and clicking the mouse button it's a picture of mouse here are the two buttons if I show you on laptop here is also it is also a button on the left and right side it's clickable and it's also a touchable 
Some other example of input devices are joystick, trackball, scanner, etc. Joystick. Joystick is used in video games and it is a control device. Here is a trackball. Trackball is also used in place of a mouse. It is an alternative form of mouse. It, ta it takes very less space and it has a ball at the top. In mouse, ball is at the bottom. Here is the picture of scanner. Scanner takes an image of any printed or handwritten page as an input. We scan, scan any page in it, it takes the input and then it gives us output processing device. The data entered is processed by the processing device like I gave you a question 2 plus 2. I gave you a data and you process it into your mind, into your brain. According to the instruction given by the user, we are the users. The processing device in a computer is called the central processing unit. This is commonly referred as CPU. The full form of CPU is central processing unit. Dear students, you have to learn this full form. CPU or central processing unit does all the calculations. Calculations are the addition, subtraction, multiplication and processing. It also controls the operations of the other parts and devices in a computer system. Therefore, it is said to be the brain of the computer. CPU has three main parts. First, we learned that computer has three functions. Input, processing, output. Now, CPU has three main parts. Arithmetic logic unit, it is abbreviated as ALU. ALU. Next is control unit, CU. Memory unit, MU. These are the abbreviations. Here is the picture of complete function of a computer you have to draw this picture on your rough register and you have to learn these three main parts of the CPU also here is the input devices what are input devices like keyboard and mouse here comes the central processing unit and in central processing unit there are three main parts arithmetic logic unit, control unit and memory unit from this central processing unit we get our output unit and output devices like monitor or any screen. These three parts we are going to further read. Arithmetic logic unit ALU performs all the arithmetic operations like addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. It also performs all the logical operations, for example, to decide whether the number 23 is greater than the number 19 or not. Number 23 is greater than 19? Yes, we have to think. Computer also done this by CPU, control unit. Controls all the operation of computer system. It controls the flow of data and instruction from input devices to the memory unit and to ALU. Uh, ALU is the arithmetic logic unit. It also controls the flow of processed information that is result from ALU to memory and to the output devices. Then is the memory unit. Memory unit stores the data and instructions temporarily before they are passed on to the ALU. It also stores the result of work done by ALU before it is passed on to the output devices.